it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. How is everyone today? So, today we are going to try um, these two new thingy bobs <laughs> that I got at my uh, one of my local discount stores when I was shopping for, you know, house goods and stuff. And I think this is for uh, like, a, 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 like a net for a trap um, in your sink. I have no idea how to use this. I don't know how the heck to get into a sink. <laughs> but I was thinking, I was thinking of how could I use this. So I was thinking, because this material is very rough and it seems to have some kind of um, like a coating. It's like a, it's not plastic. It is fabric, but it has like a, like a, a shiny coating on it and it's kind of stiff. So I cut open the sides here, the top, to, to make the opening wider. So later I am going to hold it with one hand and see if I could pour the paint through it and that it would kind of come out from all these little holes here. Now that may not work and that's fine because, you know, we could always repaint this at a later time if the painting comes out crazy or horrible it just doesn't work so for this paint um this paint's gonna be much more fluid because i want it to kind of spill out now um as per the thumbnail we're gonna do the main painting today is the primary colors i don't know if i've done just primary colors on here um and actually I was th I never do reverse uh, strainer or reverse colander very rarely, and this I swear this reminds me of is like you know a typical little iconic uh, spaceship. So I want to try it reverse uh, strainer because these all these little openings here just are really like I don't know they're very interesting to me for some reason. And this is like hard plastic, and then another time I'll probably do a regular pour. Because also, this is a very deep um, section here, and it could hold a lot of paint. So I could probably do a larger painting. But today, I want to try a reverse uh, strainer pour with that. And um, we're going to use the Primal um, Flow again. I know I'm using this paint a lot lately. Um, I can't help it because it, it, this paint is always so successful. Uh, yeah, with all my paintings, I just don't have any problems with them. But last week I did use the Arteza and the uh, Pouring Masters because I don't want to forget about them either. I also have other paints as well. But um, yeah, so I do have, we, can, we are going to be using the Parmaflow again. So for this uh, reverse col uh, colander, the strainer pour, we're going to be doing the Sunshine the red glam and then this blue that has no name so far <laughs> um, and with a little celtastic uh, pour oil just one drop per cup now see how this is this is why you have to see how it separates in the bottle you have to shake it very very well uh, before you pour and before I get started I will be stirring all these up before I pour so for this guy this weird thing here that, like I said, this sucker looks like a condom. <laughs> it's not. I swear to God, it is for uh, your drain. Uh, I guess it's like a lint trap. It, it you know, it collects um, the dirt. I don't know how to use it. It don't make a difference because I am using it in a totally different way. So we are going to be using the Primaflow acrylic pouring medium. And we're going to be using a Silver Fox, Plum Perfect, and this is the Cranberry. Um, I had washed the bottles off, and unfortunately, the nice little uh, label got messed up. But this is the Cranberry, uh, Plum Perfect, and Silver Fox. Okay, and then there's no um, pour oil in this, just the Primal Flow. And I actually did add quite more than I usually do. I usually I just kind of add just a uh, 
just a little bit, just like a kind of like a one squeeze to each um, cup, but this time I put a lot in because I wanted it very fluid because I have no idea how this is going to work. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. So I just want to show you really quick. This dried, as usual, this paint is gorgeous. This dried perfectly, um, the pour from yesterday. <clears throat> And I did varnish these with the, um, with the, what is it called? Oh, yeah, the Liquitex. I did want to use that. I didn't want it to go to waste, so I did use the Liquitex. Um, it's a varnish and medium. So these came out really nice. This is the tile, and these are just some of the wood, um, the wood rounds. And next up, before we get started with the pour, I took my little container lid off, and I mean, these are just beautiful. And I think I forgot to mention yesterday, what I did do was, I, after I poured the colors, they did blend in, but what I did was, and this is why I love these uh, sticks here, because not only can you really scrape your, um, your cups and really uh, mix them very well with this you could drag it so what I did was I dragged the colors through each other and I kind of did like little designs like that I just like kind of pulled it through just to see what would happen and I did this to see these lines here that's not like a mistake or anything I actually started dragging the colors through and then when you use the torch, it actually heats up the resin a little bit and it makes it even more fluid, uh, just for a minute, and then it starts settling down and starts to cure. So these, I believe, can be taken out now. Um, it's, it has been way over 24 hours, and I think it does take two to three days to like 100% cure, but you can pop them out of the mold and there goes someone's crazy car wow their engine needs some work <laughs> all right guys so i will be back in a second and i will set it up real quick so that i could unmold these all right i'll be right back guys i am back so right, this is this is so pretty all right so I use the uh, amethyst purple. What is it called? I think it's called crystal light and a white crystal light. Remember those drinks? Crystal white. And this is the copper. So this is, those are by Arteza. They are so pretty. I mean, I got 35 of them in a box, and I will be having them for quite some time. Yeah, that's why I'm not going to be, um, um, the Primal Flow has a subscription box also for resin art, but honestly, I just bought all these, um, these pigments, I really don't, and I, they do send you, like, other, obviously, the objects, the little crystals, you know, all kinds of stuff, um, but they also send that in the, um, the subscription box for the paint so I think that you get everything in the paint subscription for now like you get I got those shell pieces and stuff like that um, so that's good and, and you know I want to try other companies too um, there's so many companies that sell cool stuff um, so yeah here we go drum roll please and this comes out fairly easy Maybe this is not ready. Uh, nope, okay. Just got a little attached to. i take that off. Oh, that's fine. So, this is how this came out. Wow, this is so beautiful. Let's see if you can. I'm gonna bring the camera up to the light. Let's see. There we go. Sorry about the ring light, I'm trying to get like the light on it, but not the ring. Anyway, you get the idea. It came out really nice. 
cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. The pattern in the back. That's very awesome. I love that. Okay, that is one. And let's take this guy. This does remind me of a phone case, even though it isn't. But um, I am really loving doing all of these different projects. I'm literally, I have not been bored in my art for a year. That is fantastic. So I'm always trying new things now. And there goes my camera. Sorry. Okay, let's unmold this. Yeah, I am now online looking at other molds as well. I'm not going crazy. I just saw quite a few really nice molds. Uh, one that says love. It's like a, this pretty big mold. Um, and there's molds you can make keychains. I said they have to have molds. I already have like a little hole in them to make keychains. There's like a little hole like right up here pre-made. I was like, that's perfect because my son's like, make me a keychain. I'm like, okay. I mean, I need this stuff first, but so this is how this one came out. Yep. This, oh, nice. Let's see if we can get the light. Yeah, very pretty. Yeah, so these are coming out beautiful. I'm really, um, I am really happy with the way they're coming out, especially someone that's very new at this. Not fairly new, very new. So I am very, very happy and I just love making these. This is so awesome. So yeah, guys, so those are my two newest little resin pieces and they're like coasters and, uh, you know, um, my son may actually talk to his friends if they want keychains, so, you know, that'd be kind of cool. I could sell, sell some keychains, and yeah, these are really pretty. I am so happy. I can make my own coasters now, make my own stuff, and not have to buy anything. And honestly, I can make something much prettier than, um, just buying it in any store, you know? I mean, this is so pretty. I love that. I am happy. All right, so up next is the paintings, and yeah, I will see you in a sec. Thanks, guys.
Hey guys, I am back. So yeah, I kind of like this. Um, I don't know what I was, I mean, I really wasn't expecting anything, to be honest, using um, this little mesh condom. No, I'm, just, I'm kidding. This mesh piece. Um, I just didn't know what I was going to get. The paint was very fluid, um, obviously too fluid, but, you know, I didn't know if, if the paint would have, like, kind of flowed through through it all or very little um, if I didn't have that fluid uh, the paint that fluid um, but I, I like it you know I like my color choices um, it's very wispy you know I don't I really I guess I was expecting more of a grid type pattern but I really didn't have any like expectation of really anything I had no idea how this was gonna come out but like it's not like totally dynamic and oh my goodness look at the pet I mean it's cool you know um, I actually think it's very pretty um, I think it's very soft and yeah I, I actually do like it I love like the color combo like I said um, you see the Plum Perfect and the Silver Fox and the Cranberry. And I did stretch it out just a little more off camera because I wanted to see more of that silver um, kind of stretched along. But I kind of like it. I think it's a little different. Um, you know, it's not like any particular pour that I've done in the past um, because it's a new uh, little material, you know. So at least I know that it does work. Maybe next time if I use it again, because I have another one, or I can wash this one out. Um, I think I may make the paint a slightly thicker, and like probably use half of the medium. I, I will probably still use uh, the pouring medium, but just like half. So I just wanted to give um, do one painting at a time. So I will be right back, and I will bring up the other one. Alrighty, all right. All right, here is the actually the first one I did. Now I did try to do a reverse um, strainer pour, and I really didn't think that the paint, as you saw in the other part of the video, the paint really wasn't flowing out like I wanted it to, and I probably would have wasted a lot of more paint. It, it was just kind of going over the strainer and not um, through it as much as I wanted. So I just flipped it and there goes an ambulance again. Sorry. Uh, no matter what time I do this video, I always catch a, uh, an ambulance. Um, no matter, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, but even though, so basically I, you know, I flipped the uh, strainer and I just did a regular strainer pour and actually I, I really like it. There was no, um, pouring medium in here um the colors to me did get a little muddied through there but honestly usually i don't like that but i really i don't know while i was pouring it i kept on thinking of circus that that word kept on um coming to my mind for some reason i guess it's like this the bright primary colors but yeah i really there's a lot of micro cells in there um, I really like this. I don't know why, but I do. Um, it's just really, it, there's a lot going on in here. Um, like I said, even though like in certain areas it did get muddied, which usually I'm like, ugh, I really don't like that. But for some reason, I kind of like it. And then I know with these paints, um, they, they do dry the way pretty much it's poured, which I like. Because in other paintings I've done with other paints, uh, when the colors get muddied, it even gets darker, and then it's like, ew, I, I'm getting rid of this painting, or I scrape it, or I just paint over it another time. But with these paints, I know that it actually stays pretty much the way I left it. So, yeah, that is it, guys. Um, I am, th there's been another pour kind of going around the community. Um, it's called a tornado pour. I believe Mix Media Girl made it up. Um, I believe, you know, people are giving her credit for it. So, and I just saw a video today of um, another channel called Catherine the Paint did one. 
and it actually came out pretty cool. So I may try that out and um, just, you know, just for the heck of it. Um, yeah, it's like a traveling ring pour, but then you, when I do it, I'll explain it. But it's like kind of like uh, an addition to a traveling ring pour. Uh, so yeah, I think I may just, you know, give it a whirl one day. But anyway, that is it for today, guys. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't know how many more videos I can do this week. And I was, just quick note, I was going to go to the Lunar New Year Parade this Sunday. And the operative word there is was. Due to, I guess, fear or whatever, my son really does not want me to go and he was going to go with me uh, to the parade because it is um, a lot of people and due to the coronavirus kind of scare. Um, and I, I did see in California, I don't know what town it was or whatever, um, they did actually cancel their parade. I don't think that New York is canceling it. I'm not saying that. Um, but my son is kind of like, maybe we shouldn't go because it's, it's just like a very congested area. So I'm like, all right. So that kind of stinks. But unfortunately, I, I think I'm going to listen. Um, my son's very wise for 16. Um, yeah, so... That is it, guys. Sorry about that. I really wanted to go myself, but you know what? Um, health and family comes first. That's, you know, that's all I have to say about that. And there's always another year, and there's other, actually, events going on um, for that. Maybe I'll look into that instead. Alrighty. So, guys, thank you so, so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you always know when my videos are uh, coming up. Give me a little like. If you would like, you could uh, follow me on social media. All my links are in the description below. So, guys, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.